Who says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. On Tuesday afternoon, just after 2 p.m., Floyd County Jailer Stuart Bear Halbert says that his staff was notified that an inmate at the Floyd County Detention Center needed medical attention. 29-year-old Adam Potter was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead, and an investigation immediately began. Jail, we follow DLC standards, and actually their protocol is to call the Kentucky State Police, and that's that's who we notified you know, immediately. and. And their response time is great. I mean, they actually had a detective down here. And Much of Tuesday evening consisted of reviewing surveillance camera footage and interviewing anyone who might have witnessed an alleged altercation. At this point, it appears there are only two inmates involved in this uh, altercation, which first appeared to be verbal, then maybe led up then to an assault. It ended up with being the, the, the perpetrator hitting him in the side of the head, which caused his injuries. And then his, he was also deceased because of the injuries. Potter's body was transported to the state medical examiner's office in Frankfurt for an autopsy, which provided the last bit of information needed before officials decided whether or not to charge 23-year-old Scotty Lee Gibson, Jr. Uh, Detective Diles and the Commonwealth attorney decided to wait till today, further review all the evidence. And this morning, sometime uh, before noon, I think they decided that the murder charge would stand and they would prosecute him on that. Wednesday afternoon, Scotty Gibson, who was serving a 12-month sentence for possession of meth and drug paraphernalia, was charged with murder. And Halbert says things at the Floyd County Detention Center are slowly returning to normal. I actually had a counselor come in last night and talk to several staff and along with the inmates also. And, and uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's just a tragedy anyway, you know, that, that you want to look at it. Prosecutors plan to present the case to the Floyd County Grand Jury on Wednesday. In Prestonsburg, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.